was on the support crew for Apollo 14, um, Al Shepard, Stu Russa, uh, Ed Mitchell. And one of my duties on the support crew was to uh, uh, configure switches in the command module the night before launch. That is, set everything up for uh, the following morning and, and launch. And I did that and uh, finished up, returned to the crew quarters about 10 p.m. and uh, made myself a sandwich, was sitting there having a, a sandwich and uh, a glass of milk or something before going to bed and just idly watching the, the closed circuit TV monitors of, of what was going on uh, at the Cape. One of the cameras, the one that was being featured, was uh, trained on the flame trench underneath the, the Saturn V on the launch pad. And what I did notice though was that shortly a, a white Corvette drove down into the flame trench right under the launch vehicle while it was uh, still being fueled. This is something that uh, never happens. But then I noticed that in the Corvette was Al Shepard, the commander for the mission the next day. And Al drove down right underneath the, the center engine of the Saturn V, sort of leaned back and looked up and uh, stayed there for, oh, two or three minutes. And you could just tell that going through his mind was uh, trying to appreciate what was going to happen the next day on his launch. And after two or three minutes, he put the Corvette in the reverse, backed out of the flame trench. 15 minutes later, came into the crew quarters, said, good night, Bruce, good night, Al. And he got up uh, next morning and launched for the moon on Apollo 14.